オプチミスティックウェルネスへよそ私の名前はジョージュア Welcome to Optimistic Wellness. My name is Josh. Feeling like speaking Japanese today because I am here to talk about Kizuna. And Kizuna, Kizuna is the Japanese art of forming relationships. The word directly translates to bond.、Uh, basically, a bond between a friend, family member,、uh, something of that sort. And The Japanese culture, they see everything as an art. You know, you, you're most likely familiar with Kaizen. And the term Kaizen means constant, never ending improvement. It came from, came from Toyota. It came from Toyota, and、um, just the Japanese culture, they really, they really pride themselves on art and little details. So, this art of Kizuna is basically forming genuine, empowering connections. Now, lately I've been doing this, and I've always had the belief that empowering connections and your health they should be the top two priorities in your life. But I was not very congruent with the belief. I was not spending that much time on forming empowering relationships when really that should be number one.、Uh, if not, it should be number one along with your health. Now, so lately, here are some ways that I've been cultivating this. Uh, the first one is emailing someone new every day. I make an effort to, to seek out really awesome people and send them emails, genuine emails. Now, because we're, this is Kizuna we're talking about here, this is not some boring structured business relationship. So when you send the people the emails, you know, be, be spontaneous, don't be too structured and rigid.、Uh, it really helps to get like an easy, you know, easy. Easygoing environment with the emails. And on the blog post below, I have linked some lists of people、uh, to find some really awesome people on great lists.、Uh, another way that you can do this, something a little bit more uncomfortable.、Uh, actually, we're going to go, yeah, this one is more uncomfortable. Facebook messaging.、Uh, seek out people on Facebook, send them a message, say hi, ask them a question, something like that. The rate of rejection will be really high, but that's okay. That is absolutely okay. You'll, you'll learn to be really strong for that. And also, another one, this is even more uncomfortable on Facebook. Go to, the, go to your Facebook chat list,、um, see who's online, find some people that maybe you want to cultivate a better relationship with, people that you don't, maybe don't know that well, and send them, a, send them a Facebook chat. See what happens. I mean, it's really uncomfortable sometimes, but it's worth it. Uh, another way, phone calls every day.、Uh, not just phone calls with people who you know, you're comfortable talking with, but you know, expand your horizons of people.、Uh, through this emailing every day, maybe、uh, cultivate good bonds through email, good kizuna, and then you can transition to the phone and talk with people on the phone. It's, it's great. Phone, Skype, if you can do it, awesome. Uh, another resource is Twitter. Now, Twitter is something that I've been getting into in 2012 recently, and it has been really awesome.、Uh, I met some really cool people just through retweets. Like recently, you see、um, on, on my website, I have a new interview with Max Andrew Dubinsky, and it was just an awesome interview and really cool to meet him. I actually met him through a retweet. His wife, Lauren, retweeted one of his things, and I found his blog through that. Ironically, Max met his wife, Lauren, through a retweet. True story. Retweets change lives, people. They really do. To sum up this extremely important concept of Kizuna,、uh, I'd like to recommend three resources here. Three resources. First one this book, Never Eat Alone, by Keith Ferrazzi. This is a great book. I read it twice. It,、uh, I've been applying principles through here for、uh, Kizuna, and it's just been. Amazing, highly recommend it. The article also, How to Network with Busy People,、uh, the big article series by Steve Pavlina, amazing. And then an article by Therese Schwankler, she wrote a new article, how, Why Your Networking Sucks and How to Do It Right. And in there she talks about, she kind of sums up the messages in all these in this book. Basically, relationships are. The reward of everything. It's, the, it's intrinsic value in itself. It's not a means to an end or anything like that. 
So, Therese, you're awesome. Thanks for writing that. And thanks for running the Unlost. Check that out, by the way. Uh, so that's basically Kizuna in a nutshell. It cannot really, the essence cannot be transmitted through a blog post or a video. It's something you have to experience for yourself. And taking these tools and using them for 30 to 60 minutes a day will be an amazing investment of your time. I promise you that. And I do not make promises on videos or in my life that much unless I actually mean it. I promise you this, that 30 to 60 minutes of Kizuna time will greatly impact your life. So thank you so much for watching. Doma arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you very much. Take care, and optimism is the only way.